This program has been made possible in part by TNNA, the National Needle Arts Association, TNNA.org. I'd like to welcome Beth Gantz back. She's here from the TNNA. And earlier we talked about trends in needlework. And now we're talking about trends that you see at using threads and fibers and yarns. Well, thank you for having me. I'm welcome. We're glad to have you. And tell me a little bit about the trends that you see. Well, we are seeing accessories as a trend uh -huh. in, in the needle arts. Uh, not only are you you know, you have your scarves that you knit and, right. and all of that, but we're seeing totes and purses as a big trend with needlepoint and cross stitch. Sort of wearable art, would wearable you Wearable art. Wearable needle arts, would that be a Wearable thing? needle arts, absolutely. Okay. Just like you'd wear your knitting. Absolutely. Well, let's start over here, Beth, and what do we have here? We have this fabulous tote that is stitched, is needlepointed, and then it is whipped onto the bag. Okay. Basically. And when you say whip, whip it's a stitch? whip stitch and okay. you can use you can do it by hand or you can also do it on a machine. And then there is this fabulous button that's attached to the tote. And so this is actually a pocket. Oh, okay. So it lifts up and you oh, can put stuff okay. in it. Yes. So And would you find these beads as a trend in needlework? They are a trend. Embellishing, embellishing, embellishing your needle art. And what do we have over here, Beth? Well, that is a nylon tote bag, and mm -hmm. it's just a simple project that's then put on with a double-sided tape. And the project is? Needle is needlepoint. Point. Okay. And you could make your shoes to match, correct? You can make your shoes to match. <laughs> Absolutely. And that is actually a belt that you're, you needlepoint, and then you get made into flip-flops. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, and that is a big trend in needle it is arts a big now trend. to embellish your flip-flops? Flip yes, it is. Yes, it is. And here we have a red bag, and tell me a little bit about that bag. What, first of all, it has what in it? Needlepoint, cross stitch? It has needlepoint in it, okay. again. And this is a great bag because you can stitch your needlepoint project and then finish it yourself. And so the window opens. This and opens? you can tuck your needlepoint into it. Oh, okay. And so you could actually tuck, tuck your knitting in there. You absolutely could tuck your knitting in there. And people are doing that. Are they? They are. It's a, uh, they're just stitching a, uh, or knitting uh -huh. a swatch and putting it in there. That's great. You always knit all these swatches and don't know what to do with them. So that's a fabulous sure. place to put them and use them. It, exactly. And on the other tote bag over there? Well, this is another example of one of the pocket totes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one did not have a button with it, but um, it's just another way to carry anything, sure. any project that you're working on. Any trend. Any trend, <laughs> exactly. Now does that have a pocket like the one with it the It does button? have it a does. pocket. It does, okay. So, you, so you, you really just whip around You just whip edges. around, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. And then come, show me this. Well now. this is an example of the nylon tote bag where you uh -huh. would um, take your finished project okay. and you would fold down your corners and mm -hmm. put the double sided tape over it and then what you can do is you line it up where you want it, and it's very sticky, so you have to make sure. Make you, sure. Where yeah. you want you it, to be it very careful about and then putting you would, it down there. Exactly, and then uh -huh. you would lay it down there, and then you'd want to put something heavy on it, like a book, okay. for a day or two to get and it to set. it'll just stay? And it will stay, God, absolutely. That is really great. So you could put anything on there. You could. Anything. Another place, that's a really, that's the size of a swatch. It is, So it is. You could put great. anything on there. That would be fabulous. And here, this looks like a mesh bag, is that fair to say? Yes, it is a mesh bag. And these were brand new this uh -huh. year in our mm -hmm. that we saw in our industry. And you can actually stitch on the mesh bag itself. The material itself? The material itself. I'm gonna open it's, this. It's, you just know, it's a, a grid, just like a needlepoint canvas uh -huh. or a cross stitch fabric. Mm -hmm. And so you would just stitch your pattern on it, and there you go. Yes, that's really great. I I just think this is a wonderful little pattern on here. It's Isn't like it, darling? half of a cross stitch. Correct? It is a half a cross stitch. Yes. So, and if you went back the other way, you'd do a full cross stitch. Exactly. Okay. Well, and you know, I think people uh, have to understand that there's lots of trends in needle arts besides knitting. There absolutely 
and lots of fun things to there do. There are a lot of fun things, and people are mixing. You know, not everyone uh -huh. does one craft, yes. and so it's a great way to, you can do your needlepoint project and put your yarn right. in your tote bag, or you can put your yarn on here and wear a needlepoint belt. Well, if you like fiber, you like to use it, and this would be just perfect. This little bag, you could embellish it and carry around all your exactly. needlework tools, whether you knit or crochet, or be perfect for your crochet hooks it, and your scissors. It would be. You can decorate your accessory bag for your needlepoint yes, projects. That's a great idea. Yes. I'm going home and do that. That looks like fun. It is a lot of fun. Well, Beth, you have been just great. We thank you for bringing us up to date on the trends in needle arts. Well, thank you so much.